Hi, I'm Chris Scott with Scott Home Inspection, and I'm here to give you an overview of our online reporting software and show you some of the features that are included. After your inspection is completed, an email will be sent to you that includes a link to view your report online. Our inspection reports are hosted on the cloud powered by a reporting tool called Spectora. By using cloud reporting, it's easy to view your report on any device or share the report with anybody using the URL link. In the report, you'll find the address of the property, your inspector's name and information, and your agent's information as well. Scrolling down, you'll see the number of items inspected and the action items that are notated within the report. As you continue to scroll down, you will see the multiple sections of the report categorized by areas of the property. You can also jump to different sections of the property by using the menu on the left side. Every section of the report has a similar layout. You will see the header, a list of the styles and materials that were observed during the inspection, and an overview of what was inspected during the inspection. Below that, you will see informational items that do not need action at this time. These items are here to give you a better understanding of the property. In this example, we are showing you the two electrical main disconnects and their locations. Below the information section, you will see content blocks. These content blocks contain the defects that were found under this category. These are items that we consider defects or items that need action at this time. Each item is categorized by its severity. Some items are maintenance items, which we consider simple repairs, and other items are repair recommendations or safety items, which need immediate action. Under each content block, you can click to see more images, zoom in on a particular image to see the full HD picture, and also click the comment to see the full inspector recommendation. After reviewing the report, you may want to see a list of only the action items. To do this, jump to the top of the report and click the button Summary. This will bring up a list of only the recommendations that the inspector found during the inspection. You can use this list to summarize the report. If you ordered one of our many add-on inspections, you will also find these inspections within the same report link. Scroll down and click on the add-on inspection that you ordered. In this case, water quality testing was ordered. You will be able to see the full water quality testing add-on report within the original report. Also, if any of your inspections require an attachment, such as mold and air sample testing, your attachments will appear at the bottom of the left sidebar. As you can see, viewing your report online is very easy. However, if you would like to print out a PDF or send a PDF to somebody, jump to the top of your report and click the PDF button on the right. You can choose to print just the summary or the full PDF report. This will generate a PDF in an easy to use format. Here you can use your browser to download the report or print. And that's it. Once you and your agent review the report and decide which items need to be addressed, you can use our software's built-in report tools to prioritize those items. At the top of the report screen, click on the report tools button. This gives you two options to pull information out of the report. Observations copy and paste text will give you a summary of all recommended items in a plain text format that makes it easy to copy and paste information out of the report. 
Repair Request Builder gives you a full interactive builder where you can select recommended items to add to your inspection objection. Scrolling through the list, you will see all the items in the summary. You can select items with a check mark that you would like to see repaired. You can also assign a credit value that you would like to receive instead of having the item repaired. Let's select a few more items. And add some comments. and then we'll name our report. You can reorder the items using this feature or add header text to give an overview of the section. Once you're done, click Preview. The program will automatically generate a repair request list that includes all the items you selected, pictures from the report, credits you requested, and comments that you entered. When you're done, click Create to send the report. You can send the link as an email, text message, or copy the link above and share it with all required parties. For now, we'll send it as an email. Enter the recipient. and your email, and a subject. Click send and you're good to go. So hopefully this video helps you read and understand our reports. If you have any further questions for us, please give us a call or contact us through our website. Thank you.